Doug Kelly wrote to me and he said, I thought I was the only person in a boxed pew with no exit. I was there too. I started writing this as therapy for myself. I, I broke down and cried every day when I wrote it. I would call Sharon and read it. And she said, you, had to, you have to keep writing. And I did. I didn't know it was a play. I didn't know what it was. But I'm glad that Southern Baptist Sissies gave a lot of people exits out of those pews. Thank you all. All right, that was Dell Shores accepting the award for best play for Southern Baptist Sissies, uh, a, a work that I think is, is one of the most profound works that I've ever seen on stage. It certainly changed me when I saw it. So, Dell, I, I mean, and I, I've talked to so many people. It affected them so deeply. Did you have any idea when you were writing Southern Baptist Sissies that it would do what it's done for people? No, Chuck. I mean, honestly, what I, what I felt was fear and telling the story. I mean, when I originally started writing it, I would just get so crippled with fear because of the damage that that had happened in the church and how I felt and the fear of a, uh, of a vengeful God. And so when the response came in and the word healing, everybody would always write me and they said that the play was so healing to me. And, and I loved what Doug Kelly said, I, who became a friend of mine. Uh, I thought I was alone in that box pew. And I, yeah, I, 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 it often happens, I think, with writers where we think that we're writing for ourselves and we're also telling other people's stories. Yeah, and that's such a universal one. Let's take a look at uh, a scene from the movie uh, Southern Baptist Sissies, and we'll talk about it on the backside. This that was brilliant. is where we learn to hate ourselves. Don't become me angry when my spirit is crippled and broken. Why has thou forsaken me? How do you stop the hate that is spewed in the name of the Lord? You may be afraid, but I'm not. I know you feel it too. You're just, you're just scared. I never, ever loved you. TJ! Sometimes I close my eyes and create a perfect world. A world of acceptance and understanding and love. But I always wake up. Yeah, you know, Dell, that, that was one of the things that, you know, we've known each other for, for so long. When I moved to L.A., you were one of the first people that I met. Uh, I saw you play Tex uh, Cheatin' and, uh, yes. and just knew that we were kindred, kindred spirits and we've worked together many times. You would come on Chuck's Country and things like that when we were doing that in L.A. But I'll never forget, when I went back to L.A. and Southern Baptist Sissies was playing on Melrose at that theater, um, I mean, I literally, I saw it and I just sat there and it was so deeply profound and, and it touched me. And again, when I talked to so many other people who had the same reaction, do you feel sometimes that when you do something like that, that there's an added weight to you uh, that goes along with that or an added responsibility after you put a work like that out there and it just, it reaches so many people? Do you ever feel that kind of weight? I, you know what, I, it's, it's interesting you asked that question. I was, as I was watching that clip, I, or those clips, I was like, God, you pulled all the heart tugging ones. I mean, you're, you're getting me today. I feel like I'm like what Barbara Walters used to do to people. Your, your, your intent is to make me cry. But um, I th what, it, what happened is so many people they, they start thinking of you almost as a therapist. And I have to remind people who are suicidal or who have so much damage that is, is ingrained in them uh, that I'm not, that's not who I am. Uh, I can be supportive. I can give you recommendations. But uh, sometimes I feel a lot of weight when somebody is, a, is in crisis and reaches out to me. But then on the other hand, I feel like it's my responsibility to help as many people as I can because there were people who supported and 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 uh, were good to me. And I tell you, I got to tell you, Chuck, you you sort of uh, changed my world with Southern Baptist Sissies because you brought one of my best friends, is your nephew, uh, Patrick, and he and his husband, Kevin, have been and their kids are just my family now. So um, you. Um, 
you you helped you helped me as well with that with that play. And I love that. And and I remember bringing Patrick down there uh, to Dallas to see it when it was in its first mm -hmm. run in Dallas. And it, we had to even kind of sneak away from Decatur uh, because no one knew that Patrick uh, was gay at that time. So and I love the friendship that you and and Patrick have uh, you know developed. It is a, a really special thing, and I love that. I wanted to talk too about another work of yours that uh, truly has touched so many people: um, domestic violence and trials and tribulations of a trailer trash housewife that became the film Blues for Willa Dean. Tell me kind of what prompted you to write that. You know, I, I, I departed from, from um, uh, what I was sort of known for at that point with Sorted Lives and Southern Baptist Sissies, and I just had a story to tell, and it was, it was inspired by a boyfriend's sister who was in a uh, situation uh, not unlike uh, Willa Dean. She got out of it a lot uh, earlier than Willa Dean did in, in The Trials and Tribulations of a Trailer Trash Housewife. But I just became obsessed with, uh, with domestic violence. I started reading a lot about it. Uh, I loved her activism, that she became a big activist after she got out of the situation and almost lost her life. I mean, she was, it was really bad. So I did research. I was just talking about this recently, how it, it truly was psychologically the most research I've ever done on any character because it was not close to me, to, to my own experience. So to understand a character, you really have to, to uh, I mean, to write a character, you really have to understand them. And uh, that was, I mean, the abuser and the, the, the one being abused. So, and, and like you were talking about, you know, when you were talking about sissies, the same thing. I started getting a lot of letters and, uh, and people, women who left their husbands as a result of seeing the play or the film. Yeah, it touched so many people and it continues to do so today. All right, well, don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to find out what's next for Dell. You are watching Out and About today.